The Blackboard Gradebook allows you to easily enter and manage your students' grades for assignments, tests, or projects. You can also calculate final grades, weight grades, and enter grades for activities completed outside the Blackboard Learning System. All grades posted in the Blackboard Gradebook are secure and private. This ensures the grades of each student are kept strictly confidential. To access the Blackboard Gradebook, click on Control Panel and then click on Gradebook. The Blackboard Gradebook is divided into three sections. At the top are the buttons that allow you to control different aspects of the Gradebook. Add Items is the control in which you'll use to add assignments, papers, quizzes, and things like that into your Gradebook. The Manage Items button will allow you to adjust the names, category, or scores, or grades for a particular item. Gradebook Settings contains a number of settings controlling the display and the calculation of grades. Weight Grades is pretty self-explanatory. It's this tool you use to determine grade weighting. And then also you can download your gradebook for the purposes of backing it up into an Excel spreadsheet format. They have an upload gradebook function here, but I don't encourage its use because of the specific nature of the gradebook Excel file. If you change it at all, it may not upload correctly back into Blackboard. The next section is the filter bar. Using these controls, you can determine how your grades are displayed on the screen to you while you're working with the gradebook. You can have items sorted by a number of ways, as you can see category, the date they were added, points possible, title, or weight. Or you can sort items in the gradebook so that they appear by category, which you will have assigned when you created the items. And lastly, you can filter items by a student's last name by simply typing the student's last name in this box. And the third area, the area where most of the work is done, is the grid and here all the student names are listed and then each individual assignment with their total points possible and a weighted total which is either applicable or not applicable depending on your use of weighting appears. And lastly at the bottom there is this small key which we will talk about in later uh, tutorials on the gradebook. Mm -hmm.